Yo, welcome everyone. Episode three on Ortho Talks. It's your boy Otis Donks, aka Odie, aka Frugal Poppy, aka <laughs> it. aka uh, you know, just whatever. You know, we back again. Um, say what's up, Kanai. It's good. It's good. It's uh, your co-host here. Yes, sir. Co-host with the mo-host. I don't know what that means, but I said it. We that back. sounded nice, though. We back. Oh, uh, we back with another episode. episode. Episode three this time. Episode three. And look, guys, we're consistent this time. So this is this is the second week. Um, obviously, we just uh, launched two episodes, like our first two episodes of The Potty. So I just wanted to, I guess, shout out everyone that listened. I didn't really look at the analytics yet. But, yeah. um, you know, I, I usually give it a whole week before I look at it. But I mean, based off the last episode, the, the season finale from last season, you know, I got like around like 68, 69 listens. So, I mean, if we can build off that, bad. that's great. Yeah. But we can honestly, build off like, that even yeah, more. We're, we're growing issues. So, like, obviously, I want to be consistent with it. And we're trying to grow to something bigger than this. Um, so, yeah. So shout out everyone that listened. I appreciate it, honestly. Shout out um, everyone that shared it too. Yeah, and everyone that shared it. Honestly, this is like yeah. obviously, yeah, it's big for us, you know. So any 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 way you guys can like spread the the podcast out there, you know, that'd be great. And also, I just wanted to, to say that the real that little like real trailer that I did it has like over a thousand clicks. So I mean, that's really nothing in the grand scheme of things. But you know, it's something I mean, you look at, you're something you're proud of. Yeah, that's exactly, big for us, bro. bro. Bro, I don't even have a thousand followers on the other <laughs> on the on the unorthodox page. On uh, by yeah. the way, follow at unorthodox co, or is it what unorthodox co? What I forget what my shit is. Bro, is it not up. unorthodox couture, bro? What are you talking about? Nah, bro, because I switched it up, yo. Um, oh, okay, yeah, it's unorthodox dot couture. My bad, yo. Okay. I switched it up still. So it but yeah, follow, yeah. follow, because there's gonna be updates there and shit. So yeah, I appreciate you guys, but um yeah yo um i was talking to Kanai earlier about it just about the rollout and stuff um i guess the thing about about me you know it it, it, it kind of gets overwhelming you know trying to promote yourself on like social media with like your aspirations and like projects that you're working on and stuff so i kind of just want to talk about it real quick um i don't know like i don't know about Kanai. i don't know about you but personally to me um once i i guess shared it i dead ass logged out of my instagram and like put my phone on do not disturb bro bro john marco knows bro i was talking to john marco my boy shout out you um i think he's watching on the stream oh yeah by the way um can i streaming this at the same time so you guys might be watching it yeah. live if you're watching the stream shout out your stream i real did quick. say we would uh we would do some podcasts on the stream you can find me at twitch.tv slash canoey if you want to tune in sometime uh can give you uh you can you can be part of the podcast live to be honest i don't know if we'll yeah. do all of them just because sometimes i will admit this is kind of late yeah. um i was playing apex earlier we had some people in and as soon as i was like yeah we're gonna do the podcast right now they it was like 10 for them so that 10 30 10 45 so they're like i'm going to bed realistically i got work tomorrow type b bro Damn, so, okay but yeah, yeah but shout but, out you guys but yeah like i was saying um um john marco can attest to this but i was so like i just had to go on a little walk and i was just overwhelmed and i was scared to check my phone i don't know why but you know i, feel I don't that. know how you felt about it bro did you feel kind of the same way i, I guess was it's just, like yeah i was just like a little overwhelmed with like the reaction i got because a lot of people mm -hmm would uh would message me they'd be like oh yeah okay. i'm watching it or i'm listening or i had a couple of people asking about my twitch and they're like oh if you're gonna like will you play um and they're like uh oh where would i be able to listen to the podcast for the video because we did mm. try to do videos for for them um, yeah so they're like where can i find the video at uh do you have a link for the youtube so yeah 
True. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't I was, even check the analytics for the YouTube yet either. I'm going to check that shit yeah, out soon. But oh, I, know, I would hopefully. say for me, I was a little... It was a le- like nerve-inducing. Just like everyone's yeah. giving you feedback or like liking it or like bro. reacting to it and mm-hmm. shit, bro. Bro, that's exactly how I was feeling, bro. And uh, real quick, I just wanted to shout out Roro, a.k.a. Jerome Chang, a.k.a. Black Dragon Roll on Instagram and Twitter. Bro, yep. shout out to you because honestly... I was telling him how I was feeling. I had like anxiety about everything and man gave me like a good word of encouragement, you know, and just told me to, you know, keep doing your thing. Don't think too much about it. Don't think about what people's reaction is going to be like. Just think about more. Yeah. Just keep it natural. Just keep on doing what you want to do, because at the end of the day, you know, we're trying to build a following here. So it's like, you know, if you're going to mess with the podcast, you mess with the podcast. If not, then whatever. But at the same time don't just put stuff out just to appeal to people you know you know Facts. showcase you your, what your, you want to do yeah showcase your character your personality stuff like that and just you know just just be yourself like don't try to change for nobody and like you know i guess the followers will come with it but you know shout out to yeah. you man like honestly you really like um you really helped me with my nerves and stuff like that man so i appreciate you you always kept it real with me man so um yeah again i want to shout out jerome chang you know I, I miss you, bro. Honestly, like even with like my Twitch shit, bro. I don't, I don't know. I, it, I feel like promoting on Instagram, like, kind of makes me nervous. Mm. Like, um, like I, I'm a big, uh, like I don't really care about what other people think, kind of person. But like mm-hmm. for this, I kind of, like, I'm nervous about it. Like, I don't know if I want to to post it yet, kind of thing. Like, I haven't. I'll send it to like a couple people, and then like they'll send it to like a couple other people. Exactly. Um, but right now, I'm like, like even when I start streaming, bef- just before, like I have like this knot in my stomach when I'm sending the <laughs> link to people before I press the live button, bro. So it's it's I feel I definitely know what you're feeling exactly bro I, I feel like everyone goes through it and stuff like that so but you know you just gotta you try you know i don't know just try to be out there man just promote yourself to the best of your ability man just uh, you know be yourself and you know i guess uh what's the word for it i guess i mean the success will come later just keep yeah. being consistent doing the if same people, thing over if people and over vibe again. with it they'll vibe with it if they don't mm-hmm. they don't exactly it's all and, and, just getting to the people though mm-hmm. and then based on the analytics and stuff i mean i know people are listening or checking it out or whatnot i didn't check the last yeah. episode but obviously so we put out two episodes and like, yeah shout out everyone that listened but um yeah, also so how for was the your, people how? on twitch you can find um yeah 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 plug yourself the, you can find it's in my about part like just below it you can find an unorthodox panel if you click that it'll take you to the link where all the all the podcasts are so you can peep them there say less yes so check it out people and also i want to apologize again for the end of the second episode last week i know i got corrupted <laughs> <laughs> like i was so cheese honestly but there's nothing i could do so about, I was it. Pressed about it and i guess i guess that's why i was having anxiety with everything too just because you know we had a like good dialogue and stuff and it just cut out yeah. so it's kind of like holy shit man like what now so hopefully it doesn't happen again i mean i don't know why i'm seeing a warning sign on my thing right now but honestly i cleared all space on my um yeah, so, have app. The space. so hopefully like we're good but if not like <laughs> that's gonna be an L, but anyway. So how was your week, bro? Like what's popping? I got a lot to say, bro. I know you do. I know you do, bro. I got a lot to say. You, I went for a run with Dylan yesterday and yeah, I yeah. almost died. Holy This man had me doing sprints, bro. And it, it really just uh kinda hit how like I don't look out of shape, mm-hmm. but my you lung capacity it. went to shit. Mm. Like I was sprinting up that hill and I was like, man, I cannot breathe. So I'd be walking. I'd be pacing like in place kind of thing so that I can uh, like so my legs don't lock up. Um, but I was like, man, like I can't like I can't get in the air. And then just after a while, like it kind of it kind of kept getting back to me. Mm-hmm. But even afterwards, bro, like when we were walking and he was like, oh, do you want to do like some more hills? And I was like, no, <laughs> like I'm done. <laughs> you want to do some more hills? <laughs> Nah, bro, I can I can attest to that because last week me me and Tommy we did um we did hills and oh, sprints yeah, at Christie Pitts. 
Tommy Lee, shout out you. But yeah, bro, I almost passed out too, bro. I felt like shit, bro. Like we did hills and like, bro, I couldn't walk. I felt lightheaded, bro. Oh my God. But I felt it for a few days, but it was definitely, you know, if you're not feeling like you put in work after a workout, bro, then you're doing it wrong anyway. You're, so you're doing it wrong. Yeah, it is honest. what it is. Okay. What else you do, bro? Uh, Not much. We uh watch the Leafs game, <laughs> which... Yo, we're gonna talk As about the least game coming up, yo. We're gonna talk, we'll about, talk about that. We'll talk about that in a bit, bro. We'll but talk about the sports. All I gotta scene, say is but, disappointment. Uh, least pack, to be honest, bro. Least pack. We smoking that shit tonight, bro. We no smoked cap. that shit last night, bro. It's kind of nasty. <laughs> <laughs> yo, but, I'm uh, dead, bro. But what yeah, that's you, bro? it. Oh, bro, I got to be honest, I've been I've been Say less. Bro. Say less, bro. You know, lockdown is gonna be over soon actually Facts. so that's good tomorrow actually the, the stay at home order is 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 no more but realistically yep. people have been chilling outside like since the weather's been be good honest. so yeah. it's not gonna change it really but i think mattered. not at all bro but now this time it's actually not illegal so more people i mean it's not gonna change like i said but whatever um but june 14th starting june 14th that's when i think patios and like the mall and stuff are open so i'm looking forward to that i guess yeah. But anyway, let me tell you about my week, bro, because I had an interesting week to say the least, bro. Honestly, um, so I started out you like got, very you good. Got, uh, you got consent for the story? Or See, you don't nah, need no, it? Nah, I'm not gonna tell <laughs> that story. See, it was another story. Right, but I'm gonna tell you a different story. story. Listen, yeah. listen, because that story was crazy too. But this is a different story. Um, so yeah, the week started out good essentially because you know I got a new TV. You know, I gave away my old TV, so I'm like, yo, I need to buy a new TV, okay? So what had happened? I think was I did this, get some of some of this uh this story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was updating you guys live when this happened, but yeah. for people that don't know, bro, so I copped a new TV, right? Um, a nice TV. It's like a Sony TV, you know, UHD, 4K, 55 inches. It's beautiful. I'm watching the game on it right now, and the Lakers are getting smoked live in Premiere facts bro but yeah that that um tv nice okay so i ordered it off a site called factory direct so for anyone that's unfamiliar with factory direct um they are more so a refurbished and open box um, retailer so you can always save about like you know anywhere from 100 to 500 dollars on certain products so the same tv at uh, best buy was almost 900 dollars, but i was able to secure it for like after tax it was like 745 or something like that okay it's not so bad 55 inch bro yeah it's tough you know i'm only upgrading five inches because i didn't really need a new tv but i sold my tv to my boy because he's, he's yeah. got a new place shout out to the um on the place by the way back um anyway um so um the tv got delivered to me right it came through um man came at like 9 a.m he delivered that and i'm like okay bet bet let's go so you know i got excited you know i drove uh, like i drug the tv all the way through my condo upstairs all that stuff bro that shit was heavy bro that box was big as hell bro but and that shit and this tv is kind of heavy too it's kind of like back heavy bro so anyway you got yeah i got in the crib you know unpacked it i took off the old tv from the wall um and i i packed it up safely for 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 my boy and i and i um started to set up this tv bro so you know i put the screws in for the uh um, the tv mount and everything i set up everything up bro and i'm like okay bet let me turn it on bro i turn it on it does not turn on like the screen at all like you see the little the, the little sony button is flashing so i'm like what's going on like what the hell so i'm like hmm this is weird so i unplug it and plug it back in still nothing right so yeah. I'm like, bro, what the hell is going on? So I'm like, okay, before I call Factory Direct, because, you know, they're known for being refurbished or open box, when I specifically wanted an open box, not a refurbished TV model, um, yeah. I'm like, let me call Sony and let's see if we can try to troubleshoot it before I call Factory Direct. Before because I'm gonna, Direct. Yeah, I want to make sure, like, this TV is broken, right? So, yo, I called Fair the man, enough. right? And the man, we're trying to troubleshoot it, right? And, bro... Like, nothing's working at all. So I'm like, that's strange. What the hell? This TV is supposed to be new. And this man's like, do you have a warranty on it? And I'm trying to look at it. He's like, there should be a warranty paper. One year, at least Sony warranty. I'm like, nah, bro, I don't have anything. He's like, yeah, I don't know about that. You got to contact who you bought it from. I'm like, all right, say no more. So I call Factory Direct. I call the customer service line. Bro, tell me I'm on the phone for like maybe 15 minutes. They're not picking up, bro. So I'm like, what the hell? So let me go to operator. I contact the operator, right? 
And I said, yo, like, can I get in contact with customer service? Because I need to know what's happening. I need to like resolve this issue today because I don't want them to think that I broke the TV if I tell them later. Yeah, and, facts, it, facts. and then what's going to happen? Like they're going to come arrange a day to come pick up the TV and then see if it's broken or not. And then how long is it going to be to send a new TV? Because, you know, I'm going to be TV list. Like Loki, I have a smaller TV, but I'm trying to watch the game on the big screen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, try to watch all that, that HD. On that, that HT 4K, that, that bro, you already know. Facts, bro. So I was like, hell no. Big so, screens only. Big screens only, dog. So I, I called them and they're like, yo, um, you know what? Um, let me take your number down and we'll call you right back. I'm like, bet. Because at this point, it's like 345. I'm like, yo, they're going to be, if they don't call me PM? before 5. Yeah, PM. If they don't call me before okay. 5, we're going to have an issue, bro. So it's like, I, I wait like an hour and a half, nothing, bro. It's like 430 at this point. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to call a factory direct, a local one, and see if they have the TV in stock. Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to exchange this TV in person because I need this fixed today. So, yo, I yeah. called man's up, right? I'm like, yo, so I got this new TV. It's broken. I spent bare money on it, and it's broken. Like, what's popping? They're like, you know what? That's fine. You can come in, and, like, we have two in stock, so you can switch up the TV. And it's all fine. I'm like, okay, bet. So, at this point, because I live downtown, right? And I we don't have parking or anything, so I don't drive downtown. Um, So... I have this big ass TV and I'm like, how am I going to get it to Saga? Because the location I called was in Mississauga. It's like near Dixie and stuff. I'm like, yo, it's kind of deep, bro. Like, I can't take the bus. I'm not going to take the bus with a big ass TV, big bro. Ass like, everyone's going to be staring at me. And also, like, Uber, I got to get Uber XL. So I'm looking at Uber XL prices, right? Bro, they're ranging from like $50 there and back. So in total, I'd be spending $100 on the whole trip, bro, to just to exchange trip. a TV. So I'm like, nah, fuck that, bro. Um, so what had happened was, um, what happened? So I'm like, you know what? My boy, <laughs> so what happened? <laughs> <laughs> asking me. <laughs> bro, <laughs> see, my stories are long, bro, I'm telling you. So Ooh. I was thinking, holy, let me, because I know my boy was moving that weekend. So I'm like, yo, we got our U-Haul van. And it's like starting at 1999 in town local type thing, right? So I'm like, yeah. low key, I can just finesse this and like kind of like it's like I'm renting the truck just to move this TV and I probably won't pay more than like $60. I don't foresee that because I only need it for like a like an, a few hours or so, right? So, bro, I contact the, the local um, U-Haul in my area. Tell me how it's on Sherborne, bro. So you already know it's ghetto, bro. It's on Sherborne, bro. I, I walk in, bro. Like I, I set it up online and shit, bro. Um, and, bro, I walk into the store. This guy is the most like jerk off sleaze bag type man i can like ever like imagine bro he's just chilling yeah. like he's like this man doesn't even care about his job i'm like right, i'm here to pick up my u-haul whatever whatever he's like okay cool so like he got my credit card information and like initially they charge a deposit fee of like 79 dollars. so depending on when and the condition of the truck when you bring it back it either goes up or lower okay so you can get charged okay. way more or way less yeah. so i was anticipating you know maybe it'd be 60 dollars. yeah 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 exactly and the gas and stuff so he's like so the gas i pick up the truck the gas is already on halfway right he's like yo just fill up the tank where it's at right now and leave it at that and just whatever i'm like i bet so yeah. i'm whipping in it i'm like okay this kind of this is kind of like uh this is kind of hard to drive bro i'm like let me get let me get used to it so i'm driving around downtown bro and i'm like i'm starting to get comfortable you know i pull Especially up on the highway used to it downtown bro facts i'll lie out of all places bro You're so right, i was like you know <laughs> so I was, I was whipping it i got on the highway and i was like okay let's go I'm, I'm whipping it right so i get to the store and they actually switched out my TV for a brand new TV. So it was like the model TV, but they didn't yeah. put it up on display yet because the stores have been closed, right? So it's brand new, unsealed, not even open. I'm like, bet, bro, say no more. So pick up the TV, you know, and I was like, since I'm on the road, let me just go to Costco and get some groceries and stuff. Let me load up those trucks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Before so, I get so back home, bro, bro. Let, me, let me load this up, right? So I loaded it up. And I got home, it's about maybe 6.30, okay? So I'm on road for yeah. probably an hour and a half, not even, bro. And um, I, yeah, I, I come and I, I get the TV back home and stuff. Holy shit, Damien Lillard just hit a three to tie the game, I think. I'm sorry, that's a tangent. I'm looking, I know. <laughs> and bro, it was a buzzer beater. He's going to overtime. He just hit that, that shit. Shout out Dame. Okay, anyway. So a little bit cheap. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy bro that's I crazy I bro. so i like i get back to the u-haul place you know i fill up the gas where it was so i only put like ten dollars of gas in because i was all i needed and i actually filled up a little bit more than i should have anyway i leave the receipt in the whip and the man is still there when i got there he told me where to park before but i'm like all right bro so i'm parking here i'm like do you want the keys physically in hand or should i leave it in the drop box 
And I was like, oh, just yeah. leave it on Dropbox. It's cool. I'm like, I bet. So I left it and everything was cool. Okay. Tell me how. So before I set, tell you about the next part that happened, um, essentially, I tried to mount this TV because I mounted the one previously, but I guess the my wall mount is kind of weak. The walls in this condo are so thin and hollow, bro. There's there's no wood behind it, bro. It's just all shallow. I don't know. So anyway, I tried to mount this TV, bro. I tried some to the builder shit. Bro, you have to like pull the lever to set it into place, right? Bro, yeah. I pull the lever. Bro, the TV dropped, bro. It literally <laughs> dropped. Bro, the only way I could save it, bro, because I was looking right at it, was my face, right? So my face caught, like, you know, caught the TV low key. And I'm like, shit, 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 shit. And I, like, my sister helps me and stuff, whatever, bro. Bro, put the TV down. And then I look at my glasses. TV with his face. Bro, I caught it with my face. I had to still. But, yo, I look at my glasses. Bro, my glasses are mush up, bro. They're actually destroyed, bro. And they're my Gucci frames, dog. That's why I'm wearing these, these old ones man. right now, bro. So they're destroyed. I'm like, yo, like, what? Like, just my look, dog. So I was kind of cheese, but whatever, bro. So anyway, next day happens. You know, um, I get a receipt from U-Haul, bro. That shit, it got up to, like, Hundred sixty dollars plus taxes. It came up to like two hundred bills, two hundred dollars. I said, for "Are you what? stupid, bro?" That's why I said, "For what?" Like, what the hell? But I didn't really look into it too much, so I was like, "Whatever." I'm gonna like, I'm gonna deal with this later, bro. Because the next day is when my boy had the U-Haul truck, so I wanted to see how much he was getting charged. Because if he gets charged the same, do you know? And then it's just that's what it is. I I take an L, whatever. Because I could have saved more if I took Uber. But if not, then yeah. we have an issue. So next day it goes by, and um, my boy gets charged like. $79, that's it, bro. Um, but my bill is still the same. So I'm looking. I call customer service. Holy, Chris Paul is hurt. I call customer service, bro. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Holy, this way it gets so yeah. distracted, bro. Bro, that's what happens when you you, you podcast and watch um, the NBA um, playoffs at the same time. But my bad. Okay, no more distractions. Okay, so I look, I look at my bill, and it actually says, Six that I delivered the the, the truck at six a.m. when it should have said six p.m. Bro, yeah. could you believe that? So I'm like, okay, maybe this was a little mistake. So but maybe the man can just like correct this and I get my money back, or whatever, or they don't charge me the additional hundred right. something dollars. Okay, so I call customer service and then they're like, oh, so what we're gonna have to do now is you're gonna have to um. You wouldn't have to talk to the store you got it from. I'm like, bro, I don't want to, like, have a conversation with them because I'm kind of cheese right now. They should have, like, corrected that. I've seen the man. So can you call them for me? They're like, yeah, okay, cool. So she calls. So I'm on hold for, like, 10 minutes. She calls me back. She's like, oh, so actually, the, the I talked to the owner. He said that he didn't see you pull up. So the, when he pulled up in the morning at 645 or whatever, that's when he that's seen the truck there. That's when he saw the truck and he was like, bad. Yeah. This man pulled yeah. up at 6 a.m. I'll lie. I'm like, bro, what the hell? Like, you have cameras on your Dropbox. That's bullshit, bro, right? So I was like, nah, screw that, bro. So, yo, I pull up. Tell me I pull up. I pull up. And I'm like, yo, what's popping? Like, what are you seeing? First of all, I pull up and it's a different man than the man that was there initially, okay? So yeah. if, if this man's the one that said that I didn't, he didn't see me, obviously you weren't there. So what are you even saying? You feel me? So I was like, okay, whatever. He's like, oh, come back tomorrow, bro. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm like, bet I'll come back tomorrow. So before that, I called my credit card and I was like, yo, I might have to dispute a transaction. They're like, yo, I already went through, so we can't really do anything about it. So I'm like, oh, say true. Word. And he's like, and I told the man, I'm like, yo, the, the man's literally lying to my name, bro. He's like trying to lie and trying to finesse me. So the it's man's like, you know what? Downfall, bro. But listen to this. Shout out to the customer service agent I, I interacted with from um, for my credit card. Shout out MBM and A. Um, they the man just said, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna report your credit card lost or stolen. So you're gonna get a new credit card. So when you get a new credit card, they can't charge your old one because it's gonna be inactive, right? Because he Say said, less. I hate people like that. He's like, I hate people that try to like you know rip people off and stuff. Because why would I lie? I have too much on the line to lie, bro. Like it's so yeah, such and so stupid to lie about, bro. So like, and they have cameras right at the Dropbox, so if they want, they can check that out. But anyway, so it's still not resolved. But they can't charge me anymore. But honestly, I'm gonna be using U-Haul again in my life. So it's best that I resolve this. So I'm waiting for like a district yeah, manager yeah. to get back to me. We're gonna see, but I'm just chilling, bro. I'm not. I'm not stressing. Everything's gonna be fine, bro. Smith, Smith. <laughs> but Smith for story, this dream, bro. Bro, I'll lie. But, but yeah, that's what happened. Still, but yeah, sorry guys, that was a long ass. Um, I was an OD story, bro. That story was Holy long, bro. A lie. Be telling me longer stories. Conundrum, my guy. Bro, that's how it be like, bro. I have bare stories. That's why I should... You know those YouTubers that have life. story times, bro? You know the ones that do story you time? You should do that shit, bro. Bro, facts. Bro, that's, be, why, uh, 
on the the channel story time with yeah. otis dogs facts bro that should, that might be a new segment bro. let me guys let me know if you guys want that yo every every podcast i'll tell a story facts. okay because make it you know, tell my a story. life a movie my life a movie or but not every other time, podcast bro. type thing bro just tell Man. a story bro let's do it bro Could like i said Bro, my life is a movie, but not the good kind, bro. More so a comedy. <laughs> this man's life is a, either a comedy or a tragedy. Or a mix Honestly, of both. Bro. Facts, bro. And it's actually tr- crazy, yo. Like, anyway, um, that's enough about what happened with me this week, bro. But um, let's move on to the quick strike segment. Cue the music because there's going to be music now. All right. You don't know it yet. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> bro. So let's talk about the the Toronto Maple Leafs, dog. Well, what do you? What are your thoughts? So, realistically, we should have closed that out from game five or six. Mm-hmm. But the fact that it went to seven is actually insane, and the fact that we, lo- bro, I was chilling with man's watching the game because we ran. Dylan's like, yo, you try to hang out afterwards. I'm like, bet. Say less. So we're hanging out watching the game, bro. And um, I was chilling with uh, Ibrahim, too. I used to work with him. Shout out Ibrahim. Um, bro, we were chilling. And this man's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. And Dylan, Dylan was just negative the whole time, bro. Dylan was like, nah, it's about to be a beast fact one, for real, for real, bro. Facts, facts. And I was, I was hopeful because I was like, man, you know. So we're, we go into it. And we started, like, the game. And Dylan's like... Every, so Montreal started really like on the offensive, and Dylan was stressed, bro. This man was pissed. Word, eh? And then, because um, the intermissions are so long, after the first period there wasn't a goal. So Dylan changes uh, the channel. We're watching like the Wizards game for a bit. He changes the channel to the wrong channel, then goes back to the right channel, and we mm. saw the Leafs get scored on. And I was like, bruh, like this is so pathetic. Because really, bro, st- like statistically, whatever, we were the better team going into it. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, like to- the Leafs are so down bad. Like Toronto <laughs> sports right now is going to be down bad for a minute. With okay, like no, the Raptors. No. Raptors are back at it next year. You can quote you me so? on that. You can quote me quote on that, him. bro. Quote right, me so on that, bro. Save it? this for June 1st. <laughs> June 1st, dog. June 1st. Quote me on it, bro. We're back at it, bro. We're going to be minimum six seed next year, bro. Uh, we're going to get into the second round, bro. We're going to have a top five pick, like I said. Ooh, I'm excited. Is Lowry that. staying? Yeah, of course. We're going to re-sign Lowry, okay. bro, okay. with a top five pick or top seven pick. Easily, dog. And, like, just say, I know you said you told me before that you don't you didn't watch college ball, but let's say we get, like, a point guard like Jalen mm. Suggs, bro. I, I heard that the point, top five picks are looking real mm-hmm. good, though. Exactly, bro. So say we get a player like Jalen Suggs. Realistically, he's already almost better than Fred Van Vliet, bro. At that point, we Fred Van Vliet becomes expandable, bro. So we can trade him for expandable. some assets or some pieces. Yeah. So, bro, just think expand. about it, bro. Yeah. Just, just think about it. But anyway, back to the Leafs, bro. Yeah. I mean, I feel like, in a way, do you feel like life is getting back to normal? You know, the Leafs blowing uh, a playoff series. <laughs> <laughs> no, no cap, dog. No cap, bro. They said no cap. Oh, my God. Honestly, I guess. I guess we're just cursed, bro. Oh, lie, bro. Like, and that's the way I like it, bro. I'm smoking on that Leafs pad, bro. I don't care. I hate the Leafs, bro. <laughs> I hate the Leafs, dog. I don't even care, bro. I was so Smith happy, bro. Not radar hockey team, bro. I was talking bear shit on Twitter last night, dog. Holy, bro! I was, I was there. I was, like as I, as I said on uh, at the beginning of my stream, bro. My mom was. I, I went downstairs. She was disappointed. <laughs> she went outside to sit down, bro. I'm like, yo, you good? Holy, you sad? She's, she's like, going yeah. through it. <laughs> she was going through it, bro. She was hurt. That's crazy. That's crazy. She's like, aren't you? I'm like, I mean, I'm disappointed, but you know. Tell her there's always next year, dog. There's always next year, to be honest. But maybe we get rid of Marner. Maybe, bro. Screw the leaves. Screw the leaves. That's what they get, bro. I don't even care. Um, I just want to say um, real quick, I used to be the biggest hockey fan up until the lockout season in 2005, and I just stopped watching, and like, yeah, I've been a ball man since. But shout out Matt Sandin. That's for sure. 
Yeah, the lockout 20, the 2005, year. bro. Shout out, shout out Matt Sundin. Shout out, um, what's his name? Ty Domi. Shout out McGinley. <laughs> shout out Curtis Joseph, bro. Shout out all those men, bro. Those men are tough oh, still. Man. Ty, what was it? There's another guy. Players. I forget the name, bro, but I, yeah, I was a big hockey guy, bro. Um, anyway, Send next topic, yo. For real, for real, bro. Holy. Next topic, Send yo. The off. Bro, what kind of music have you listened to lately, bro? That new J. Cole dropped like two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago now. Um, did you listen to it? I want to know your thoughts. I have not listened to it yet. Um, hmm. As I feel like I said this in the past podcast, bro, but I'm very, if I'm on the go, I'll listen to music. Not if I'm just sitting around chilling like mm-hmm. even my um like uh intro music for my shit i don't really like a, if a song catches my ear then i'll listen to that but like i don't know I'll, i don't listen to a lot of music when i'm just chilling but um yeah to be honest like i've listened to like dylan's music because that's my True. boy and shit but um his new track also dropping june 11th the one that uh previewed a little bit but other than that like realistically I, like i haven't gone anywhere i haven't like because of the lockdown and shit so i haven't done much so i haven't listened mm-hmm. to a lot like i'll listen to like um like the couple of hype tracks that like you know everyone's listened to kind of thing mm-hmm. like yeah, yeah, radio yeah. shit but like damn not that's much. crazy that's yeah. crazy what about you how'd you like um, the album Bro, it was cool, but honestly, I didn't listen to it again. You know, I added a few tracks here and there, but, like, it was cool. Like, it wasn't bad, but, you know, for J. Cole's music, you just got to be in the mood for it. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? J. Cole is one of those rappers that he used to be. I I like older J. Cole better, but um, Mm. I won't won't disrespect Cole. No, never. He's, like, a top, like, five rapper, if if anything. For sure. But, um like after he started getting on that the crazy lyrical shit Mm -hmm. like the i wouldn't say it like lyrical but like real life shit you know what i mean i just kind of tapered off a bit um like he still is like i would say cole is goaded of course but um for me that's like it's not the type of music I'm going to go out of my way to listen to. Like, I'm not going to s- wait for a Cole album to drop or I'm not going to be like, I stayed up for a Cole album. Some people mm-hmm. do, and that's respectable. But for me personally, I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm waiting on that next Cole album. I do. I did like Cole. I'm mm-hmm. not going to say I don't like him. I do like his music, um, but I'm not going to go out of my way for him. If I hear him, like, I'm pretty sure I heard a couple songs here and there, mm-hmm. like on Instagram or in passing and shit. But I'm not going to like seek it like crazy if that makes sense okay i have a question for you um you see yeah. that he like raps about different shit now but isn't that what a rapper is supposed to do once they get older you know you don't want them to rap about the same shit they're rapping when they're about like 25 years old you know i feel that i feel that but that's why i like realistically you got if if your taste doesn't change then like for me personally my taste changed um from like super lyrical shit to uh to like listening to shit with like good instrumentals and shit Mm -hmm. so for me it's it's whatever you're into to be honest if because i even wayne like i i don't wait up for a wayne album even never i wouldn't say like i wouldn't say Mm -hmm. like wayne's uh like changed up like old wayne was good and wayne's kind of like I don't know if I wouldn't say he's like fallen off entirely, but like, I mean, he had his time. I, like he yeah. had his time, and then for me, like it, it, it I don't know. It's just that, for, like Wayne, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say he changed his style. I just kind of grew out of it, per se. Okay, I mean, like even I understand even Rick that. Ross. Like Rick Ross is still, Rick Ross is consistent, but I, I don't wait up for a rick ross album anymore you know what i mean Mm -hmm. okay um so speaking just about music uh, is there anybody in particular you're waiting to drop like kendrick obviously (laughs) of course kendrick kendrick uh, obviously drake drake was supposed to drop in january bro come on man 
honestly, what he, like, what did he do? Tear his ACL or something, or he like tore I think his, he, he, it was like his Achilles or some shit, bro. I was I was just chilling on Instagram. I see Drake in the cast. I'm like, what's wrong with this, bro? Man, really thinks he's in the league, bro. He needs to be like, holy, you can still like, you know, you can still drop a few tracks, dog. Like, come on, bro, give us we, something. I mean, he he has, but we waiting mm. on the album, bro. Oh yeah, true. Come true. on, now. That's what I'm saying, bro. I feel like the perfect time to drop it would be this month, bro, because June is the best month. Obviously, it's my birthday month. So shout out all the cancers out there. June 24th, you know, we out here. This guy. <laughs> you know, we out here, bro. This 27th guy. year, bro. This year, listen, this year, quote me on this. Um, For my birthday, I'm going to get a dog. This. I'm going to get a new dog. What's wrong with your old dog? No, she's cool, but she needs a friend, dog. She needs a friend. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm, you know, just wait on it. Just wait on it. Oh, Wait, you're I'm wasted. Gonna, I'm gonna get Remember it. I'm gonna dogs get a dog. are, dogs are like having kids, bro. Facts, bro. So I'm gonna be like a a, a fur father. I'm gonna have a fur baby or whatever. Another one. You're wasted, man. Might be a vibe, dog. So that's what I'm. That's my aspirations for the year, bro. So you're gonna see. Um, who else? Uh, well, yeah, I'm waiting for what's his name, bro. Um. Wait, let me go through my music real quick. Yo, wasn't Playboy Cardi? Wasn't he supposed to drop a deluxe album or something? He asked if we want the deluxe, and I'm pretty bro, sure Bear people Matt told said no <laughs> So dry, dog. You want deluxe? Oh, like, nah, keep that, bro. Understandable, but honestly, that, facts. He, it, like, I mean, I mean, a whole lot of red was tough, but it wasn't. It wasn't goaded. Dilate was goaded. I don't care what anybody Dilet says. Was that shit goated. was. That was gold tit, bro. But yeah, the Uzi been in the studio. Album. Yeah. Uzi, Uzi, I mean, Uzi's I not going to drop waiting, again, realistically, for another, like, two yeah. years, bro. I'm waiting for, um, what's his name? Um, Baby Keem. Oh. I want, I'm waiting for his new project, bro. No cap. I'm waiting for that shit. Um, it might be tough. I'm um, kind of gassed for that uh, that Dirk and Baby album. I'll be real. Oh, that's actually coming out? Yeah. Say no more, bro. That's going to be the best album of the year. That's going to be the, the best, best album of the year. year. already. Bro, yeah, I'm waiting Dirk, on that shit. Dirk and Baby, the best rappers out here right now. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, I can't deny it. Exactly, baby been on bro. top, bro. Bro, Baby, Baby's a problem, bro. And Dirk, Dirk. Oh, yo. Speaking of music, bro, do you see the Mount Rushmore shit? Oh, With, is it uh, that Drake, well, um, Kendrick, Cole, and then uh, they put Nicki on it. Do you agree? Okay, name those again. Mount Rushmore for 20, 2010s. Drake, 2010s. Kendrick, J. Cole, and mm -hmm. Nicki Minaj. Agree okay. or disagree? Ma Mount Rushmore is uh, four people, yeah? Yeah. I agree. For Honestly, 2010s. I agree. You agree? I agree. 2010s. Okay. Yeah, I agree, bro. Like, yeah. You agree? Easily. Easily. Bro. Future. <sighs> oh. Oh, okay. Because they, they tweeted, um, it was a picture, and it was Drake, Kendrick, and uh, Cole, and they're like, "Who do you put? Who do you put for fourth? I was like, "Cause LeBron tweeted, Future Hendrix," and then mm -hmm. Nikki replied, and she's like, "Obviously, it's me, bro. I'd give it to Future. Okay, if, I, but if I was given a fifth, I'd put Nikki, bro." Okay, but you're taking Nikki off for Future. I'm take I'm taking future over Nikki. Okay, so you're leaving in all men, no woman representation. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but shout out Nikki. Um honestly yeah, I just yeah. feel like I just feel like Nikki like name one track off Queen Bro. Uh um Chun Chun Lee. Oh, fair enough. I was gonna say the same that track. Shit was, if you ask me. That shit was <laughs> that shit was gas, bro. That that, that track was oh. fire, and fire, fire. Was it Chun Sway with Sway Lee? Yeah, that one was all right. That one was all right. I, um, I liked it. I don't know, but Future had Chun bangers, Lee? bro. Ooh. Future Future was like realistically all of Future's tracks weren't bangers, but Future like put out so much shit during that mm -hmm. period of time that. He just had bangers on bangers on bangers and then features on features, bro. And they were all like, they were all going crazy. Okay. I want to say something though. Can you agree on this? If you were to like, you know, have a fourth head, how about if you were to do something, obviously it's against the rules, but you would put like half Nikki, half future, because realistically, bro, 
from like 2010 to 2015, Nikki had it on lockdown. Nikki but from was, 2015 yeah, to Nikki like 2020, crazy. that's future. You feel me? So you I can feel say, like future was even a little bit before that too, bro. I get, yeah, a little bit. But once once Dirty Sprite like um, 2013? came 2013. Oh, when was Dirty Sprite too? 20, 2014. Let me check. Or 2015, 2015, summer 2015. I remember when that dropped, 2015, because it was the Pan Am Games when it dropped, bro. Yeah, yeah, July, July 2015. So that's what I'm saying. So from 2015 onwards, bro, Future had it on lock, bro. You can't deny that. 15, dog. 16, 17, 18, 19. Yay. That's five Nikki years. Kind of, yeah, because Nikki, that's what I'm saying. And then from 2010 to 2015, you can say Nikki Minaj but had that same did, impact, bro. Because Nikki went ghost for like a long ass period of time bro yeah exactly so that's what i'm saying it's only fair you split them in half bro just to be fair you feel me yeah i i guess yeah you know it, it's only like, that's why i say like, if i picked a fifth it'd be nikki for sure because mm. like nikki did have good tracks and mm-hmm. like I, I i i won't take that away from her nikki was still is pretty on top in female rappers of course she's the best I out there she's like, the best female rapper out yeah i just feel like future was doing a lot bro mm-hmm. no, i don't deny it bro kanye <laughs> <laughs> kanye would be like maybe like six or seven to be honest yeah I, I, okay, I feel that. All right. Um, damn, the quick strike segment is, is kind of long today, but you gotta allow it sometimes. You know, you gotta yeah, allow facts. it. So. We we getting into some good convos, bro. The facts, bro. So I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like you know butt in or cut something short just because, bro. I don't care. Anyway, next topic. Um, I guess um, NBA playoffs, bro. Um, Smoking what do you think about it so far? Fuck. Smoking that Celtic pack, bro. Hell okay. yeah, bro. Hell yeah. No, I wish I got swept, bro. I hate the Celtics too. See, more things <laughs> I hate in life are the Celtics and the Maple Leafs dog. Oh, and the Clippers. I wanted the Clippers to get swept so bad. I don't know why the man's tied it to two. I'm actually cheesed. I'm actually so. I'm livid, bro. I'm livid, bro. But, um, but uh, yeah. Lakers looking swept, a little shaky, was, dog. Lakers looking shaky. He got swept. But oh, that's crazy, good, bro. bro. Jimmy Butler wakes up at 3 a.m. to go shooting in the gym just to get swept, dog. <laughs> Tell me that's not crazy. Tell me that's not crazy, bro. That's actually uh, insane. That's insane, bro. That heat pack in Milwaukee, bro. Okay, bro. Listen, considering the heat got swept, don't you think that last season's um, NBA Finals appearance was a fluke in the bubble, bro? Because I do, and I'm not even trying to hate. I don't know if I'd call it a fluke, bro. I just feel like they were hmm. better equipped. But, if that makes sense, hmm. I wouldn't I don't say because they don't have the same exact team. No, I mean pretty much it's the same team, bro. Pretty much. No, they had Crowder. Yeah, apart from Crowder, but who else you're losing? Uh, you're losing Crowder or that 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 fucking um, what's his name? Miles, Myers Leonard. Yeah, they had Olenek too. Olenek's pretty. Olenek's pretty good, bro. I mean, he wasn't really a factor, was he? Who's, no, do you know uh, what the thing is? The downfall, the what? heat leads to um, Tyler Hero, bro. He's having a sophomore slump, bro. Yeah, to be honest. But do you know what's crazy, bro? Step up. You know what's crazy? If they traded the Mans and got Lowry, they wouldn't be in this position at all, they wouldn't bro. wouldn't be in this position. Same as okay. the Lakers, bro. Same as the Lakers, bro. I'm sorry. You guys got to stop undervaluing Kyle Lowry, bro. He's so important into the like the na- dynamic of a like a, a team, especially a playoff team. If you want to make bro, a deep a playoff dog. run, bro. Exactly, bro. So I don't care. That's what they get, bro. Hopefully Lowry stays, bro, because people are going to regret it, bro. I swear to God, bro. That's a, as we're sleeping on him. Even if we just have Lowry come off the bench, bro, or some shit. Bro, easily, bro. It could be an X factor for sure. Bro, look, you know how the Clippers are not, you know, they're they're underachieving. You know why? Because Kawhi is not a vocal what? leader. The vocal leader in Toronto was always Kyle Lowry. So, yeah, I've been seeing um, shit like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Clippers have no vocal leader, really. Like Serge Ibaka could be a vocal leader, they too, but he's not even getting PT. Rondo, that's what I'm saying. That Rondo is kind of like, he's a different kind of vocal leader, bro. I feel like Rondo is a little bit more aggressive like. with things and stuff. He can get on people's nerves, bro. So I feel like yeah. even Larry too, but at the same time, Larry's producing on the court. Uh, Rondo has his, Larry, his, his, yeah. his time, you know. He has sometimes he's up, Rondo, sometimes he's Rondo down. Rondo will get you the ball, but... 
exactly. Larry, if you if you need a bucket and he wants the bucket, he will get the bucket, bro. Hundred so, percent, bro. And I feel he's like doing, there's just a difference there. He's doing stuff that doesn't even show on the box score either, bro. So you know, yeah, something fact. like that is just like something that needs to be done. Yeah, exactly, bro. Easily. So like, so. you know, put some respect on Kyle Lowry's name, bro. I hope he comes back. But honestly, if I hope if so. he doesn't. It is what it is, but obviously it'd be if you want if you have aspirations of making NBA finals within the next like two three years. Obviously, Kyle Lowry is a big asset for your team, any team. So um, that's sure. that. Um, do you still think for the Nets sure, are going to win sure. it all, or what? It's. I'll give you four teams that could win it right now. All right, three teams because the Lakers are kind of shaking it. <laughs> Clippers, if they don't get smoked by the Mavs, Clippers. Okay. Bucks are nuts. Nuts are heavy favorites, but I feel like the Buck are Bucks are slept on right now, bro. See, Bucks, it might be their year this year, bro. But I mean, I'd hope so for them, just because you know Giannis stayed there. So it is what I, it I is. I don't but... want him to win, just because yeah, I don't I want feel him to like win. Should come to Toronto, obviously, yeah, but hundred percent, hundred percent. I'm hating on that. I'm I, hating I'd, that be, I'd be one hundred percent fine with the Nets winning it. Durant getting mm-hmm. another one. My favorite player at this point. Um. So, like, I'm fine if the Nets take it. If uh, mm-hmm. any other team takes it, if the Clippers take it, I'm pissed. If the Bucks I'm take pissed. it, I'm pissed. If that the has... Lakers suddenly come back, then I'm That's fine. fine with that. To be honest, if the Suns, uh, if they, if us, if the Suns come out nowhere and take it, I, I'm happy for them. Devin Booker, bro. and CP, are... CP3 deserves it, bro. Facts. That's what I'm saying. That's why they're my sleep. That's why they're they're not even my sleeper pick. They're my pick to win the NBA Finals. Obviously, it's enough. kind of yeah. It's, they're my pick, but like, I mean, I doubt it will happen. But pretty much what you said is spot on, bro. Because there's everything that I agree on. Like you couldn't have said it any better. So you know, yeah. I rate that still. Um. Okay. So I guess we shall see what happens. Um. We'll see. We'll like see. I said, it, right it's now a str- it's a ninety-four sixty-three <laughs> Phoenix. That's crazy. That series is tied, right? Yes, it's um two two. Yeah, right that's crazy they, though. Uh, they smoking that Lakers pack in Phoenix, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. You're gonna see that the two teams that made the finals last year, if they get out, um get taken out in the first round, bro, you're really gonna see like how much of an impact I guess home court advantage has for teams. Like I, I feel like the Bucks thrive on like home court advantage, right? So whereas they got uh, uh, almost swept last year. And then this year, you know, who knows? It could be a, a perennial, yeah. like, finals team. So that's something to look for, bro. But, um, you know. Bro, can I, we I, talk I, about the, the NBA right now, too, with the fans? The Oh, the fans? Like, in NBA, the fans come? Oh, yes. Please, please, please. Okay. You start bro. that off, bro. You start that oh off. Oh, my gosh. The dude spitting on Trey Young. Uh, that's crazy. Dude dumps popcorn on Westbrook. Mm-hmm. There was a third one that was the before the the fan running onto the Washington. There court. was um someone threw a water bottle at Kyrie. Kyrie, yeah, bro. Yeah. Meds really get to go to basketball games, and we're still stuck in the house, and they all know how to act. Bro, that's American <laughs> I'm for you, but I'm pissed, bro, I don't know. Bro. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong oh with people. I don't know gosh. if they've just been deprived of like you know watching live sports, but yo, you can't do that. That's out of pocket stuff. Men's do not know how to act. Insane. That is really just it's throwing shit, charging the court. I'm pissed, bro. Bro, question for you though. You know how sometimes they get lifetime bans from the arenas? How can you enforce yeah. that? How do you enforce that? You know, do the like does like the ushers and the security have like a picture of like, you know, this person's not allowed in here, but can't you like, you know, get your your friend to I buy a like ticket for you? If if you get I feel like it's one of those things where if you get caught in there, you're charged with trespassing. Mm, so if you okay. pull up to a game, someone recognizes you, snitches, or someone, mm. one of the guards recognizes you as like, yo, hold up, aren't you banned? Yeah. You get charged with trespassing? You may be going to jail, mm-hmm. or it may just be like a huge fine. That's true. Okay. Yeah, so I can see something like I that feel, happening. I, feel, I definitely feel like they have things to to go against it. Mm-hmm. Like uh, if men's want to try and get it there anyways. But yeah. I definitely feel like they they're covering their ass well, bro. Like you, if if you can't ban a man, then suddenly next game the man snuck in somehow. That'd be so insane. <laughs> a lie, bro. Also, one more thing. Yo, did you hear about the controversy Kyrie's getting from stepping on the leprechaun, bro? That's crazy. 
You hear about that? I will say, I, I did hear about I will say men step on Leprechaun running up the court all the time. But I, feel, I, I feel like it's just, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's some behind the scenes shit in the mm. uh, organization, bro. Yeah. Um, cause even even uh when Kyrie was like, oh yeah, Boston is racist, and then Danny Ainge was like, no, and then one of the <laughs> players was like, yeah, it is. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, bro, um, I feel like it's like some organization shit. Like they're trying to like they were trying to do something to Kyrie behind the back, behind it, like everyone's back kind of thing. Yeah. Or like like they were disrespecting him type B, bro. So he mm-hmm. he's like angry at the organization. I don't know why he'd just step on it just like deliberately unless like yeah. he hates Boston or some shit. But I, don't, I mean, he, I don't he definitely know. does hate Boston. He definitely does. He didn't have a he's time not, there. He's not Boston's number one fan. I'll give you that. But, exactly. Yeah, Vice versa. Know. Yeah. I mean, Men it's stupid, cheese, bro. But, but, yeah, it's but stupid because it people it are stepping on the logo, you know, running back and forth on the court or in the ice or whatever. So, like, I get, I get why people are upset because it was, like, pregame or whatever or whatever. But It was, like, during a time battle, I think. Yeah, it's just still, it's just, like, whatever. Like, there's other things you should be concerned about instead of stupid to me, shit like it's that. whatever, but as a Boston fan, I see why you're offended. Yeah, of course, 100%, just because, yeah, and they're a storied franchise, I guess, but whatever, yeah. bro. All right, Kevin so Garnett be... coming out of nowhere, bro. Is, uh... KG, shut your old ass up, dog. Come on, because this man's talking in it, italics and like bold letters and shit, bro. Uh, <laughs> come on, this bro. This man is uh, Smith's trying to buy a stake in Minnesota Timberwolves, Fats but he's still try- trying to defend the Celtics. Like, bro, pick one. <laughs> man's worried about the doing? wrong thing- things, bro. That's all I got to say about that, bro. Um. Same anyway, ones. um that's enough of the, the quick strike semi real quick. Um but bro, I wanna talk about something real quick. We yeah. getting tied this summer or not? Nah? Of course. Bro, <laughs> Say no I'm more. thinking if honestly if shit opens up, because I've I've some ideas. Um mm. and there are specific things I want. I don't know mm. if I uh I'd have to go to specific people to do them if uh like realistically uh Alyssa's roommate mm-hmm. if she knows how to do some of the shit that I want because it's it's realistically just a picture you know yeah if she can if she can sketch it up and she knows how to do it then I'd be down to do it there but uh like yeah I'm I'm trying to bro. I missed out last summer when you went because of bro. COVID I got reasons, I got but blasted last summer and you weren't there with me, bro. Got a whole got sleeve, the whole sleeve completed, bro. I'm out Without here, dog. Me. Disrespectful. A lie, bro. Because me, me, can I? You guys don't know, but we we both got the Raptor championship tattoos at the same time. So you know, man, missed out, yo. Man, missed out stuff, but yeah. L. Come through. That shit for L, bro. I don't care how damn bad the Raptors are right now, but that shit for L. So that 2019 <laughs> championship's going to live on forever. Can't take that away from us. But, Never, um, ever, yeah. bro. Yeah. I, I definitely bet, am. Mm-hmm. What, are you, what about you? Are you trying to are you trying to expand on your collection? Yes, sir. Oh, so, working my bro. Camera. <laughs> bro, right, right, right arm is for buckets. The left arm is for tats. A lie. So, right arm, no tats are going to be there. But, um, I am thinking about a few like leg sleeves or even a thigh tat. Mm. So, and I still got to touch up a few like pieces on my my sleeve right now. So, yeah, I want to get that started ASAP, like Rocky Dog, because you know, you know I'm already I'm out here. And you know, when I wear the above the, above the knee shorts, dog, you know, so you're gonna see my, my thigh tats is the. But I'm gonna show out, bro. Show out. I'm gonna be like a bad bitch with the thigh tats, dog. No cap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be a bad bitch, hundred percent. So all my, I read I'm it. ready. I'm ready, bro. So you know, I can't wait till that happens, bro. But um, yeah, man. Okay, you um, just gotta wait for now, bro. You just gotta wait, bro. Hopefully by August at least. I mean, like that's yeah, when to be, I mean, maybe July. Honestly, probably before that. Yeah, bro. July, I think maybe. We're, we're ahead of schedule in regards to like vaccinations right now, so I feel like they're still gonna stick with the 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 plateaus and like the steps no matter what yeah. the number is i mean guess that's the best course of action just to be on the safe side so i understand yeah, that enough. but so I, I feel like what well, august because that's when the gyms might open up so i feel like the tat or july because yeah. that's when the salons open it's the tattoo july. salon yeah uh, yeah late, late july late july so I think, uh, 
I had a picture of it, bro. Uh, I think it's late mm-hmm. July where movies open or some shit. Oh, we're in the movies. We out there, dog. We're out there. The Eternals is coming out, bro. Gyms, gyms are ju- late July too. Mm. I said the Eternals. The Eternals ain't, ain't that on Disney Plus? Nah, it's gonna be in the theaters. I think. Say it less. But we're watching that. Not we're watching the other one. What's it called? I forget the name, bro. Um, there's another. I'm a, I'm a Marvel fanatic. In case anybody knows, um, I, I love that shit. I'm, I am too, bro. Bro, fucking um, what's it called? Captain Marvel and the in the Falcon or no was it Captain Marvel and the Winter Soldier dog? Can we talk about that real quick? And we you know the ending when it switches. Captain, or Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Yeah, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but it switched to Captain America. Oh my god. When that it switched to Captain America and the Winter Soldier, bro, I was bro. I was giddy. I was like bro. you're smiling. I was like say oh, yes. Bro, it was a little emotional, bro. God I was like, holy, damn, bro. that's crazy, yo. That is crazy. We got a black Captain America, dog. <laughs> I really I know the racist crazy. mad, dog. I know the racist mad, bro. Sucks. Someone someone that tweeted something like Captain America. I'm like that's that's not my Captain America. He's not American or some shit like that, bro. You need know, bro. But you know what's funny? Um, I was gonna say, I seen I seen a tweet. It was like, how was Captain America on the road during slavery and didn't do anything about it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he ain't, they ain't wrong, bro. What was not doing about that? So speak up, Cap. What are you saying, bro? That was crazy. So, yo. Um, that was that's crazy. He's like that's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be easy though. A lot, y'all be easy, yo. That ain't that ain't that ain't me, Ooh. yo. I'm, I'm gonna I'm go fight be. these these other mans, and that's you can just deal with that. I'm gonna go know? fight y'all. Uh, y'all deal with that. That's crazy, bro. Um, okay, so I feel like I feel like this is a pretty good episode. Um, but before before we sign off, I want to touch on um, a few recent news events that's happened, yep. especially in Canada. In um, Canada, the yeah. apparent. Uh, land of the free and oh, where uh hmm. people people just think can't shit in canada is sweet bro bro it's not canada sweet at not all sweet. it's not sweet oh, at all i hate man. how they treat um the native americans americans oh my bad and this is their land they treat them like shit and like that's literally unacceptable bro. and it's just crazy to me bro just because you know they put them in situations where you know they're they're set up to fail type thing you feel me yeah um especially up like like i don't know my geography bro like <laughs> but not up like this, yeah up north dog it's like you know they have yeah. um all the reserves and stuff you know some people are, are struggling with like uh, mental health issues and like, like drug abuse even and stuff with like COVID, that bro like even with covid they got hit bad really right i didn't know that yeah true true i didn't yeah, know that they were bad honest. Mm, but I want Apparently to say we're just sending like body bags and shit, bro. Really? Yeah. That's nuts, bro. But I want to touch on. Um, so last Thursday, um, it was confirmed that there was they found the remains of 215 peep that 215 children buried on the site of the former Kamloops Indian residential school. So for people that don't know what a residential school is, I mean, you should know. But for people that are not Canadian, it's pretty much like. Back in the day, I mean, like all the like the government or Canadians or whatever, they sent native children to these residential schools. And I guess the the objective of those residential schools was to rid the native people of their native tongue and like their traditions and their vows and stuff and grow up like Catholic, which is fucked up. Um, And, you know, there was a history of a lot of like abuse and like assaults happening over there they literally steal the stole the children literally from their family you know force them to yeah. go there so it's crazy so you know we learned about that in high school but i feel like we don't touch up on it like too much like it's not touched we- on a lot realistically because i yeah. even even me going to school um it wasn't one of those things that was you it w- we didn't go into it a lot mm-hmm. like we learned a bit about them but like it's like it wasn't like a focal point you know exactly and i feel like you know sense. we should touch on it way more because you know the impact that it it's had like throughout history and especially canadian history man is crazy man and like this shit shouldn't be swept under the rug bro like it's actually it's crazy bro this is literally their land and like it's just it's just stupid, even though, like the the women that go missing bro 
yeah, there's so many like Native American women or I mean, my bad, Native uh, Canadian Indigenous women that go missing and like they're unsolved cases and stuff like that. So I know yeah. about a lot of like true crime cases. I watched, uh, I forget what it was. It was a, uh, what was it called? I think it was the fifth of state, bro. It was about Kate, like literally hundreds of, of missing um, indigenous women that are like unsolved and stuff. And like, you know, just bodies everywhere, bro. So it's kind of unfortunate. It's just like, you know, it's crazy, man. Like, I feel like, you know, Canada gets glorified sometimes and they should like, you know, focus on stuff that matters and, you know, they should do more than, for like the indigenous people instead of just giving them a tax relief and stuff like that bro come on yeah that's just crazy to me bro but yeah that that happened on on last thursday and it's just crazy 215 um like if you think about it like realistically like if you go to other residential schools like where other residential schools were like Mm -hmm. it's like will is will you find that same thing at other exactly it's like it's actually just it boggles my mind Bro, it's crazy it hasn't been so that. long and they just discover it now bro like yeah so you're yeah. not wrong so like um i was gonna say i, I walked by ryerson today because i live by there and you know that oh, yeah, statue they, that people yeah that statue um don't i don't know people can statue, see it bro bro <laughs> it's just a statue right here i don't know Man, if people are watching you can see yeah i took a pic bro and they left um 215 little kids shoes um on the statue uh, beneath it and i feel like that's like you know, it shows the impact that, you know, this has on, I guess, I don't know. It just shows the like, world. yeah, the current world, man, I didn't know what to say type thing, but yeah. And it says, dig them up and stuff like this, like did, what does it else to say? Yeah. Dig them up, like homeware, whatever, whatever shame, which is true. Like, it's just crazy, bro. But yeah. So, you know, that was kind of a sight to see, but it's just, it, it, it amplifies the situation to what it is you know visually especially with like the children's shoes there especially 215 of them or 2021 yeah, like like, bro it says 221 it said it's 215 oh. but someone said 221 so i was just reading it sorry my bad but okay, it could be more okay, obviously okay. yeah yeah but my yeah. bad but yeah it's crazy bro so i just want to just you know reflect on that you know um obviously it's unfortunate you know they would probably would have been like elders in like the the native community right now and like obviously they didn't get the chance for that to happen and so it's just unfortunate but you know thoughts and prayers with families affected and stuff like that but yeah um kind of a somber note to end but you know um thank you guys for checking out Sometimes episode just three talk about that shit regardless bro facts bro it's important the one thing i yeah. always do bro especially with this podcast if i have a voice and if i'm like um outlining stuff you know i won't hesitate to outline like you know the tough stuff you know the issues out here even if it's a little brief and like and, you know i might not know everything about it but yeah, as long as i can touch on it a little bit bro and then just have you know people do their research and like i gotta do some research too then that's you know yeah, i'm all for, for sure. that bro because obviously yeah, we we have fun on this podcast and stuff like that. You know, it's all jokes and shit. But you know, when shit gets real, you know, we out here. When shit too. gets real. Shit gets real. real Big for facts, real. dog. Big facts, bro. So because so, you know, ignorance is blessed, bro. So you gotta. I'm not trying to be too ignorant out here. A lie, because so, I mean, you see me when I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be ignorant. I want to know what's going on around me, so. Exactly, like, hundred percent. When drunk, bro, you just be <laughs> different, bro. I be, I be. It's a movie when I'm drunk, dog. It's a movie. It's a movie. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so um, shout out to everyone checking out the podcast. Um, episode three. You know, we signing out. Peace out. We'll be back next week for a new episode. Um, yep, yep. And yeah, yo, shout out, y'all. Um, have a good day and peace. Thanks for listening. Yes, sir. Take it easy. Easy.